Hello everyone and welcome to this series. Uh, this series is going to be on uh, vitamins and supplements. I'm going to call it facts only because I'm only going to present the facts. There is a lot of misinformation so here you are going to hear the facts and only the facts. I am Dr. Mohamed Tinawi. If you would like to know more about me and my background, uh, please click on the link below. Today we are going to discuss vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. So if I say thiamine or vitamin B1, it's the same. You really don't need a real medical background to follow this. However, if you have a medical background, that's even better. So vitamins are organic substances. Our bodies cannot make vitamins. This is why we need to take vitamins. They're essential for normal body function, for normal metabolism. And there are two kinds of vitamins. They are either water soluble, meaning they can dissolve in water, or they can't. When they can't, we call them fat soluble vitamins. The distinction is important because with fat soluble vitamins you cannot exceed the recommended amount. So there is toxicity if you take too much. While with water soluble vitamins if you take more than what you need is going to go into the urine. The kidneys will take care of that. So there is no toxicity. Water-soluble vitamins are B1, B2, B6, B12, niacin, folate, biotin, pantothenate, and vitamin C. While there are only four fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. This talk in this short lecture about vitamin B1 or thiamine. Now, this vitamin is really essential in the breakdown of sugar in carbohydrate metabolism, or what we call aerobic glycolysis, when the glucose is broken down under normal conditions. Why? It's a coenzyme, meaning it is really needed to speed up the rate of the breakdown. Without that, it's just not going to happen. The uh, chemical reaction in the glucose metabolism become very slow. It is also important in the transmission of nerve signals. So that's why when vitamin B1 is very low, you are going to have nerve problems. And I cite examples on the screen. If you have a medical background, feel free to read that. Where can we find vitamin B1? Well, yeast, legumes, beef, pork, brown rice, not white rice, and cereals made from whole grains. That's very important. So uh, people who just eat white rice, they're not going to get enough vitamin B1. So you need whole grains, brown rice. Cooking, baking, destroys thiamine, destroys B1. Now, for this vitamin, fruits, vegetables, dairy products are not good sources. So you need the above sources. Someone might ask, what are legumes? So you have chickpeas, you have green peas, you have lima beans, you have black beans, fava beans, all kinds of beans, lentils. Those are examples. Also, like I said, you need whole grains, okay, whole grain cereals, brown rice, not white rice, and uh, meats such as beef. How much do we need per day for children? Only 0.5 to 0.9 milligrams for adults, 1.2 milligrams if they're males, for females 1.1. Pregnant and lactating females need more, 1.4 milligrams. Now, uh, if you are on a balanced diet, you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to calculate anything. Now, you can go to uh, any drugstore and buy uh, vitamin B1, 50 to 100 milligram tablet per day is enough. But most people will not need that. 
if you are on a balanced diet, if you're eating the things that I just mentioned, well, you don't need to worry about supplements. Now, if you eat mainly white rice, this is your main diet, then you actually do need it. People who drink excessive alcohol, if you drink more than a couple of drinks a day, uh, if you drink several beers a day, it's highly recommended that you actually do take vitamin B1. Uh, I mean, having said that, I do not recommend that you drink alcohol excessively, that's for sure. After weight loss surgery, it's recommended, and not just this vitamin, uh, it's recommended to take a, a multivitamin. Fortunately, there's no toxicity. You cannot overdose on B1. Whatever you take, and if you exceed what you need, is going to go into the urine. The kidneys will take care of that. There's no toxicity. There's no overdose. What happens if you get really low, what we call vitamin B1 deficiency, two very serious diseases, one called beriberi, can happen in infants and also adults. It causes heart failure and nerve damage, what we call peripheral neuropathy. There is another disease that is very serious. We see it mainly in alcoholics when they go to the hospital and they get fed sugar and intravenous uh, uh, solutions with sugar. It's called wernicke korsakoff syndrome. They get dementia, poor memory, confusion. They cannot uh, walk straight. They get problems with the uh, eye movements. Uh, this is why we always give uh, alcoholics uh, B1 in the hospital and many times through the IV intravenously. That's all what you need to know about uh, B1. I'll see you in the next lecture. We'll discuss B2. Thanks.